Amco after hours. We're about to uh, start this car up, see what it sounds like. No leaks, hopefully, of any kind, boost or transmission or otherwise. <laughs> How long has it been here? Two weeks? Two weeks? Two weeks. So we're hoping that this thing is done. I'm hoping that this thing is done so I can go to the DMV in the morning and say, hey, we're good to go. <laughs> but we just got everything bolted up. We're about to lower the car back down and uh, crank this beast up and just drive it for a couple minutes on the jack stands, make sure that no oil or fluids of any kind are leaking out and go from there. Oh my goodness, this is so pretty. This is so exciting. Man, I'm gonna be laughing so hard. Back up, make sure there's nothing leaking. This thing cranks, man. I'm so happy. Nothing. This is clean. We fixed the leak. That's what matters. <laughs> now you just gotta make sure that that uh, smoke stays uh, gray and not black. So while the car is heating up because, well, it's still hot, but I want the new fuel that I just put in there to mix in because I think I've got it at 93 octane right now. Uh, I don't think I have it at 91, so it could help fix some of the issues you're having. Uh, but dude, this thing sounds great. Like the guys at the shop were not joking when they said that this will get deeper the longer it goes. And uh, I'm really feeling like the Evo is really taken to the modifications that we've done to it. It's sounding great. There have been no leaks that we have seen or felt. Uh, there have been a few scares where rocks on a highway come up and we're afraid that it might be a bolt of our own, but uh, we made it guys. We made it. I'm so glad, so glad. We did the 80 mile trip from my house, my area, all the way to Winchester, Virginia and back which basically means that we should be good to go for emissions testing tomorrow. Uh, you just, you have to run it. In order for it to pass emissions, this car has to go a good distance before it does. Like, except the technology saying, oh yeah, we're, we're good to go. I will say this as well, as soon as, like you heard it, when this car was set to go, you heard the baritone get lower to the point where it's, it's at where it's at now. And dude, it sounds so good. Like I said, <laughs> no stereo. That was actually what was causing our electrical issue, which obviously we're good to go now. Oh, it's so satisfying to be in this car. So here's where we're at right now. It didn't pass, unfortunately. Um, so instead, it will, okay, let me clarify. It didn't pass because it didn't have all the sensors fully cleared saying, yeah, we're good to go. So we're gonna drive it another 100 miles. Uh, we're already, we only need about 80 more. So we're gonna try it another 100 miles and see if that works. I'm just hoping that I can get this car legal by the end of business hours today because I really don't wanna get up early tomorrow. <laughs> home now it's like 9 10 o'clock at night 
basically Raikachan needs a new O2 sensor and the two bolts to bolt the downpipe back to the turbo manifold. Somehow in the course of the evening, uh, we lost both of those bolts and it was not a quiet ordeal. No, we definitely heard it, it was loud. And uh, let's just say I am kind of bummed that she didn't pass uh, emissions today. I mean, it is what it is. It's one of those things where you just gotta work around it and keep on trying and keep on pressing for that goal. It's just, I was really hoping to drive my Evo today. And not just to drive it to get the stuff. I mean, have it legal so I can go visit my family in it. Cause I know some of my family members are really excited to see this car work. To go visit friends that live in like Maryland or faraway places that have been wanting to see this Evo run. Take it to get tuned finally, you know? So there's a list of things that I wish this Evo was running for, but hey, it is what it is. Just gotta work around it, keep on trying. Now while I've got this fire going, cause it's a beautiful evening, beautiful night. It's the type of night where I'd have friends come sit around a campfire and we just sit and chat, talk about cool stuff, maybe bring our cars over, have a chill time just sitting, maxing and relaxing and enjoying each other's company. Uh, I figured this would be a good time to talk about what we want to do this season and some changes that are coming up to this channel. I think it would be wise to start off with the biggest change. We are no longer going to be doing Meets Chan's Upgrades as a separate entity. We're now going to incorporate it into Car Rant. It's no longer going to be its own thing. Just even though we enjoy having it as a separate thing and it's kind of easy for you guys to tell which you know thing you're watching if you find it in your email inbox. It's just not smart having two different things. Makes it easier for us, makes it easier for you guys to know what to watch. So we're going to incorporate it into, incorporate it into Car Ramp to give you guys more to see. So aside from adding Mitsuchan's upgrades into the regular Car Ramp schedule, we're also going to be focusing a lot on upgrading the 240SX and also our Mitsubishi Evo. I am extremely, extremely excited for what's coming up in the pipeline with both cars because with the 240, man, we got some crazy plans, crazy upgrades that we're going to try and utilize before we even register the car. And then with the Evo, I mean, we've already started that, but there's a lot more coming up with that one as well. Ironically enough, both cars, they're going to have a lot of suspension work worked on. It's just kind of funny how it worked out that way. Also, chatting with you guys, we found out that you guys really appreciate the Lancer upgrades, Mitsuchan stuff. Even though it's not going to be part of the regular season anymore, and it's now part of the regular deal, stay tuned because there's definitely a lot of stuff that's coming up with that particular car, like LCAs. Uh, we're finally gonna get around to doing the anti-sway bar in the back and possibly even doing a exhaust upgrade. Haven't decided on what I wanna do with that yet, but stay tuned for that. We're obviously gonna be doing some other things like car meets and things of that nature, but we really decided that we wanna focus on the stuff that you guys would appreciate. Stuff like reviews, of different products, different cars maybe even, of installation videos, tutorials, things that are practical, things that we all look for. I mean, let's be real, YouTube is a place where there's great community, but uh, a lot of people will go to YouTube to find out how to do stuff. <laughs> let's just be honest here. And lastly, opinion-based pieces. What we think about certain things, like, you know, what do we think about Honda cars or what do we think about Nissan and old school JDM and all these other things? We want to really focus on those particular things and really bring some ideas to the table. After all, we are car rant, car rant, we're ranting and talking about cars. Why not actually do more of that? Thanks for watching. Thanks for tuning in. Like and subscribe if you haven't already. Make sure you hit the bell for notifications. And we'll see you on another episode of Car Rant. God bless and peace.
found it. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> we found something we needed. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> I was like, oh, stop, stop, stop. I wonder where it went to. Oh, jeez. All right, round two. <laughs> this is going to be the funniest thing to edit later. Man, this fire is so hot. Look at the pretty flames. It's still pretty because it's blue. Don't you see? See, it's blue. It's blue.